So I've gotten over a million views alone with just video carousels this month. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to do the same exact thing using Photoshop and Adobe Premiere Pro. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into today's tutorial, starting off in Adobe Photoshop. And if you guys are new here, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. We're almost at 30,000 subs, and honestly, it's just insane. So now that we have Photoshop open, let's go ahead and go to new file. We're going to go ahead and make a new preset or a new canvas size. So let's go ahead and open this one. So just type in 1080 for the width and then height do 1350 for the resolution. Go ahead and just do 73 or 72. That's all you guys really need for actual like Instagram carousels. Anything more than that is honestly overkill. And then background contents. We're going to go ahead and make it transparent. Now, again, you guys could actually make this a preset by just going over here and typing in carousel uh, just like that and hitting save preset. I already did that. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this preset just like so and hit create. So now you guys can go ahead and actually start making your design here. What I like to do personally is actually making artboard so I can kind of see everything all in one sort of um, document. It's very easy for me. Um, but first things first, if your guys's background is not checkerboarded like so or transparent, you guys want to go ahead and make sure that this tool is still selected. Make sure this is transparent and then also make sure that the first one is selected and make sure this right here is set to transparent. If it's set to white, it's going to be white and it will not export properly for the video carousels. And that's what we're making. So let's go ahead and hit add um, as many frames as we need. Now, typically a solid length of carousel is like anywhere from eight to 10, maybe 12 frames. So you just do that for as many artboards as you need. And then this is where you go ahead and actually place in your design. So me personally, I actually like to add a layer. Now this is a little bit overkill. Or not overkill but a little bit um unnecessary but to me it's a little necessary just to make the process a little bit better this is where you actually make your sort of hook frame or whatever carousel you're trying to make so for me let's do like we're doing like a top five best b-roll shots kind of similar to the one that i actually posted on my own instagram right here on screen so let's do um five let's go ahead and just control j duplicate it um b-roll and select this all there we go we're also going to make this a little smaller just like this uh, i'm just going to change the uh, sizing like that to me, that looks pretty dang solid. I'm just going to kind of move this over. And honestly, I'm going to make this five a little bit bigger as well. Let's go ahead and do something like so. To me, that's looking pretty dang good. I'm just going to go ahead and select both of these. And we're just going to move these to the center. Now, for tutorial's sake, I'm not going to do anything too crazy. Um, let's just go ahead and actually duplicate this. Um, and then just do like a quick call to action. As call to actions are pretty saucy. So say for later. Um, and then just control A, select it all and change the sizing. And there we go. We kind of have like our uh, sort of first slide sort of done. Okay, so now that you got like your first slide done, you want to repeat this process for the entire rest of the slides. Okay, this is editor Chris here. And I want to let you guys know that I actually just dropped a brand new pack called the Viral Carousel Pack. It is inside the Viral Reels bundle. If you guys want to go ahead and get the all access workflow sort of pack, which is on screen right here. Or if you just want to get just the Viral Carousel template, which is this Photoshop document that I went ahead and show you guys in this next clip but also to a Premiere Pro version of this template pack. So that way you can actually just create carousels inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. It crossed my mind today that why couldn't you just go ahead and make the same thing in Premiere Pro if you wanted to. So I just went ahead and created that pack for you guys. Anyways, let's get back to today's tutorial. And then one real quick thing, it also does come with a chat GPT prompt to help you actually create these sort of slides on your own including CTAs in the beginning, your hook, and also the CTA at the end, and then also kind of just helps you with the fillers as well, or like the, the middle slides. But anywho, let's go ahead and show you guys how to properly export all of these boards for Adobe Premiere Pro to put in the video behind them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all the black backgrounds. So just by selecting them, and then just on checking them or getting rid of the layer by hitting the eyeball, just like so. And then I'm also going to go ahead and just select all of these artboards just like so by holding shift. So I select this one, hold shift, select this one. It'll select all of the artboards. And I'm going to go over here to file exports just like so. And then I'm also going to do artboards to files. Now we want to do artboard content only and export selected artboards and file type PNG 24 I found is what works for me. Now I'm no nerd on this, so if I'm wrong and I should be using something else, let me know. As honestly, I would preferably like to know what this really means. I could do the research itself, but it works for me, so I'm not gonna change it. Now let's go ahead and actually change this to my desktop. So I'm gonna go hit browse right here. Then I wanna save it to my desktop like so. I'm gonna save it in this folder carousel, hit open. 
and then everything's looking pretty solid hit run now this is going to go ahead and export everything for you all at one time like kind of automated which is really nice rather than like exporting one frame nine different times it just is already done for you so it's pretty gas okay so now that we have the carousel exported we can go ahead and open it and it looks like this it's a clear background it looks great now let's go ahead and open up the videos inside of adobe premiere pro now technically you can actually use this workflow with any video editor software but for me personally, I like to use Premiere Pro, so it just makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new project. I'm gonna change this to Carousel Tut. Um, I'm gonna open up my Viral Edits Pack simply because it's just a habit at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Create. If you guys are new here, I do create editing packs for short form content editors. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, feel free to check out the video down below or my actual website where I got all my packs. I'm gonna go ahead and actually just click this right here just to get this sequence sort of loaded up. But I'm going to go to sequence, sequence settings, and then I'm actually going to change it to vertical um, 1350. So it's 1080 by 1350, which gives us that nice four by five aspect ratio. Now let's go ahead and import our carousel images. So I'm just going to go ahead and import all of these. We're going to go ahead, drag and drop these into the timeline. Let's go ahead and just find our first image. Our first one's right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Now, what I personally like to do is honestly just stack them all on top of each other. And they just make them like a couple seconds long. So right there is about good. Select them all. Cut, delete. And then honestly, I just like to move them over like so. There you go. You guys have them kind of in sequence. And then actually move them up to the second layer because we are adding our B-roll beneath them. Now, all that's left for you guys to do is just add in B-roll for each slide. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Control I, which is importing. Go to my B-roll folder. Sweet. And now that we have our B-roll, just go ahead, select the parts of the B-roll that you actually want to put into your video. Um, I want this part. So hit I to kind of select the part you want. Starts right there and then hit O where you want it to end. That right there is good for me. Then just drag it out and then do the same exact thing for all of the other ones. There we go. Me just looking all mysterious like I'm thinking stuff. Pretty tough. Um, this is me sitting down. Uh, maybe do another one of these guys. That's pretty sick cool and then there you go you kind of do the same exact thing for the rest of them but you guys kind of get the point you guys just want to reframe them for whatever you guys like them to be you guys can color grade them this is already color graded footage so i actually don't have to do that which is kind of nice um let me see if i would like i like this maybe moved up a little bit yeah it looks pretty good um but yeah say you wanted to color grade them you guys can go ahead use your preset packs whatever you know use the viral effects pack if you got it if not go check it out pretty gas so now all that's really left is to export them now the way that i personally export them to go fast is i create nested sequences so i just go ahead and hit n as i created a keyboard shortcut to go ahead and do so so hit n create a nested sequence or you guys can just right click nest hit okay but n just goes by faster so now that you did that for every single one of these um, separately, select the nested sequences in the sort of project bin, like so, right click, go to export media and set all of your render settings, whatever your render settings are, go ahead and do that. To me, that looks pretty good. And then you send it to the media encoder and you guys are literally almost done. Um, if you want it to go to the same folder, it should go to that same folder. Um, if you want it to actually change the destination of where it goes, go ahead, select them all. And then just go to the folder you want hit choose it'll change everything and update it and then you just go ahead and hit go and it'll go ahead and start exporting your carousels sweet you guys see that they're all done like so i'm gonna go ahead and open it and here we go here's one slide for our carousels pretty sick so there you guys have it that is how you make your own carousels you guys can get as creative or keep it as simple as you want. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. And also, if you've been wanting to learn how to edit reels like a pro, go ahead, check out this video on screen right here. Anyways, that's it for me today. Remember, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.